Three, two, one, go. about your business what's it what's it called and what do you do okay, so it's a family business bring the kids in to help out yep. it's jobs for people at university because dad's most Need flexible it. yes, yes. <laughs> pays my bills and get the kids to incentivize them bright electric is a byproduct of smart motion which is your bikes yep seven years in the building yep we got to a stage where we're going the bikes are going well what else is there? Um, we introduced the scooters because it's a new market. Yeah, zero range. We tested a lot. We had several brands. The best way to test your scooters is buy half a dozen, give them to your kids, and say good luck. And break them and if you can. Take them out. Yeah, have brushes. fun. Take them out. See how they go. Um, see what comes back and what works. And uh, we found after testing three or four, or maybe more, uh, that the zero range was uh, probably best in terms of quality of build, certainly the best in performance, and they were the scooters that actually came back and lasted the, the test of time. And when you're giving them to motorbike riders, the boys take them to motorbike tracks uh -huh, and yes. test them. So they've been well tested. And, and jumped. They were. And probably jumped. Absolutely. <laughs> You can tell by the grass and the mud the way they come <laughs> back when you're pulling it out of the brakes shoes and, yeah. and thinking, well done. So you're not just about scooters, I can see a mountain bike and I can see a lot of other bikes. So, and then you were also talking about the lighting and the safety. So the core, the core range is the, the commuter bikes. These ones, yes. And then as the, the demand for bikes has grown across multiple demographics, you know, so we've got young kids want to ride them and use them for dual purpose for commuting. So we had to develop the bikes that suit the purpose. So we went from the commuter bikes into a trail bike, which is yep, this one. ideal for commuting on the Sydney roads because there's plenty of potholes and plenty of gutters to jump. And the full blown mountain bikes, which we um, obviously. That's, that's my favourite, but anyway, <laughs> it's not all, all it's all about. Everybody's going to come in and ride them, they, yeah. and then they'll, a percentage will buy it, others will try this and go on to your, your hardtail mountain bikes. Depends on what you're looking to use it for. Sure. So you've also got the, these fancy helmets that uh, light up for safety as well. So I'll just turn this one off. So sure. So, look, at some point evolution of the bikes gets to the point where we're getting better and better. But what about the rider? Because that's the most important thing in my mind. Who's going to ride the bike? How are we protecting them? So we went with the Laval helmets because they have indicators, flashing lights so we know where we're going. Great. We're turning left, we're turning right. Flashing light means people can see us. Makes so much sense. It does, doesn't it? But then we introduced the brakes or the lights on the back, so you can see up the back of the racks here. Yes. The lights shine. So you can they, see them from they, miles. They off. display a light on the ground, so in the dark, you're getting a light pull, a red light, out to the meter and a half, which is the road, which is the legal limit when you're passing a car over 60 kilometres an hour. So. It shows from at least seven kilometers away, you can see the big pool of light. So then they see the next little LED strips of red light, and then they see the rider. So we've introduced the fact that from seven k's away, there's a rider in front of us. Which Excellent. we think is a good safety idea, and we wish all bikes had it. Yeah. And you know, when you're being stopped by the police, they want to check out what it is, you know, you've got the right product. And you can see we follow the same principles with the scooters. You look at them. These are pretty substantial scooters, actually. <laughs> they sure are. It's just deliberate. They've all oh, wow. got the lighting system so that not only do we have a high-performance scooter, it rides really well, <laughs> yep. it performs the standard. We've gone with the lighting. If yeah. you've got light, you're visible. And yes. it's all about rider safety. We all know what the laws are, but it's commuting on the roads with cars and motorbikes. Putting everybody on the road at the same time, we need to be seen. Yeah. And uh, obviously lights down the head stem and underneath say, this is over and above what's out there in the marketplace right now. Looks great. Let me have a ride. Get on it. There you go. Let's go. Mate, we've got a cruise team here. Motorsport and we've got electric. I love it. Let me get that on film. <laughs> hey! <laughs> All right. 
fast. 